Hello guys, and welcome to today's episode of AMZ's Corner. What we have to show you today is this 1976 Corvette Stingray. Now, this is like, like I said before, one of my favorite types of car are original and unrestored. Now a lot of original and unrestored means original unrestored but needs to be restored. And what we have here is something that is original unrestored and doesn't look like it needs to be restored. Not to say it hasn't got a few issues with it. I know we've got some lighting issues. She's making some hissing. There might be some vacuum stuff going on. We haven't really broken into this yet and seen what it needs. This is being checked out for another dealer down the street. Here's that old school Corvette dash, those big incest, uh, recessed gauges. Incest gauge, yeah. yeah. Information cluster in the middle. The old, remember these old push button FM radios? That's a time gone by right there. One thing about this car is it's a five speed. You don't really see a lot of these. And it looks like this is the lower performance L48 version. That means it's pushing out, I believe, about 190, a little under 200 horsepower. Look, 8.5 to 1 compression ratio. Like, that's something special. Not unless there's a blower on there. Yeah. Really nice shape. The interior is mint. This thing has uh, an original, let's see if we can see it, 44,777 miles. That's all original. Here's the back. Looking out the back. And this is for sale. If anybody's interested in it, it's for sale. Let's take a look under the hood. Now this is right in the middle of the smog years. When a lot of cars had to put all the smog stuff, catalytic converters. Like for instance, this car has kind of a dual exhaust. Then it goes into one ex exhaust pipe to the converter. Then it splits again into the duals. A little rusty. That's kind of what you want to see in an unrestored car. You know, if it was a lot of flash or a lot of work's been, you know, a lot of stuff's missing under here, it makes them not as desirable. Like this chrome, I never see those. You never see this stuff on any of these. We got a bunch of these vintage Corvettes come in. I don't think I've ever actually seen these all intact on a car. It just needs a. It looks like it just needs a cleaning up and a paint job. Well, till next time, guys. Keep it out of the cabbage. All right, here we are today, Monday. Another gorgeous day. A little windy. Apologize for the noise. Well, here's that Lincoln. One of my earlier videos I said was coming by, and it showed up this morning, or last night in the night. What do we have here? An original unrestored 63 Lincoln Continental convertible. Yeah, that's a boat. Now this is like uh, like what the 60s, mid 60s are known for. It's got the suicide doors. I'll show you that. This car comes here about every spring to have a little its little spring checkup, get it going for the, the season. Look at that, suicide doors. The reason they did that was the the car designers, when they were testing the car, the people in the back seat would always hit their feet trying to get out. So they hinged them from the back and it solved the problem. And you get the feature that these cars are really known for. Let's look inside of it. This old girl's seen better days. Ah, look at that, look at that dash layout. Now, you, now the Lincoln MKZ, shares a lot. It's like they, they sat in this car and they said, how can we make this look look like that? I've seen some of the the truck Lincolns have a, a similar treatment on the dash. Nice wood door panels. It's got good bones. This car has good bones. It's restorable. It's actually registered and drive it. I just got back from a short road test on it. But this is probably right at the point where an old car should be taken off the road and, and, and really given the attention it needs. Uh, th this has just been used and used and we've kept it running. 
This is this would be a great candidate for restoration right now. Let's uh let's take a look under the hood. Now if I remember, I gotta go over to the other side to open this. A little little unconventional. And it's also a, a rear opening hood. A lot of people don't realize that. I don't know if I hit the pop right. No, nope. well we'll look around, we'll get back to that. Yep, there's the other side of it. Real straight. Just got a few little rust issues starting to pop through, but it's kind of why I say this is at the point where it should be taken in and, and really given a, a proper resto. There's the back. Walking on the dirt. I'm sorry if the sun gets in the way, but got to live with it. Let's see if we can get under that hood again. Let's give that another try. We don't need the suicide door open. Oh, hood pop. There we go, I heard it that time. Let's see what we got. Nice grill treatment on the 63. Oh, and there it is. Big old 429. Actually, no, no, I stand corrected. This is a 460. Big block 460. As you can see, it's nothing awe inspiring. Although even running right, this car still gets up and goes. It, you give it the gas and it, it, it goes. It, it's I'm not sure what she has for horsepower. I think that's irrelevant on a car like this. Let's close it up. And... There you go, guys. Until next time, keep it out of the cabbage.